Hi guys, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD5. So first of all, I want to say you that I've, I have created a um, Facebook profile, a fake Facebook profile just for the usage here of uh, BTD5. And um, so if you want to send me a friendship, or something like that, their profile Facebook is called uh, Alex Shutterstar. Oh, uh, wait, let's see if I can, oh, no. Okay, so that's where I can't make you see, but the profile Facebook is called Alex Shutterstar, like my name in YouTube, okay? And uh, that's gonna be my profile Facebook that I'm gonna use if you want to become friends and to do some co-op together. A guy in the comments asked me about that. So if you want to do a co-op with me, yeah, I'm totally fine with it. Just send a, a friendship, a request of friendship to my account. So my YouTube account, uh, Alex Shutterstar, and I'm gonna just accept you. And then we're gonna have to make out for a good time. Uh, we're gonna have to plan for a time where we can both uh, play. And yeah, we're gonna be able to uh, play some co-ops, some... Uh, Good the maps in whatever difficulty so that's the first thing second thing is this one here the leaderboard uh, so as I um, logged in and I stayed logged in for like uh, the last 12 hours I saw that I magically appeared here in this leaderboard I don't really know how it works but I think it's renewed every week uh, and so, for example, this one here says pop blue balloons, yellow balloons on all tracks. And uh, the balloons, the amount of balloons that you're going to pop is going to stack up until you get the your number. So, for example, in my case, I have two million, two million and a half balloons popped. As you can see here, the first in, uh, in the leaderboard has more than 24 million. So that's that's a lot. And so I got there some prices. I got the prices for uh, uh, impoppable because I'm in the top 1%. I don't know how in the world, but I'm in the top 1%. As you can see, I have the impoppable medal. So I don't know if this leaderboard just counts the, um, the balloons popped in the past week or if it counts the balloons that all together you have popped. So like, for example, counting all of the games. But I think that two, two million balloons is just is very little for all of the games and mastery modes that I have played so I think that it's just for this week so yeah that's one news uh, I just wanted to say so I, get, I received uh, a bit of tokens and uh, monkey money here for free just because they appeared here in this leaderboard and uh, today let's go here I'm gonna do another gameplay on uh, the daily challenge on hard Let's see what track we get and which towers. Okay, lightning scar, we're gonna get ninjas. Oh, very good, a village, and then apprentices and snipers. Okay, pretty solid. Uh, all good towers, so ninjas and apprentices, pretty good towers. So I think here I'm gonna uh, also go something crazy, so... Um, remember that these daily challenges are not uh, using a strategy that you are supposed to use. So I'm just having fun and trying different stuff. So in this case, for example, I'm gonna have the ninja special building and I'm gonna try out a strategy involving only ninjas. Uh, probably I'm gonna also take one... Um, how it's called? One uh, village, maybe, or maybe not. We'll see. But uh, let's start here, this hard round. So ninja special building, I haven't showed it, but it's gonna increase the attack speed of the ninja. It's gonna make the shurikens last longer. So I think that when we get the grade here, seeking shuriken, the zero one, uh, the shuriken here is gonna seek out and pop balloons, pop more balloons, okay? So something like that. Um, and then last level is going to be an activated ability here, Shadow Ninja. Uh, it's going to be a shadow here, I'm going to just show you here, that is going to 
appear in the range of the ninja and is gonna uh, well it says it's gonna copy the ninja ability but I have tried out in a sandbox and actually it did it doesn't copy the ninja but uh, it is just like a zero zero ninja or maybe one zero ninja one one ninja but uh, it's not gonna shoot many shurikens so even though we got the blue jinsu uh, we're not gonna get any more uh, any shurikens so the shadow is not gonna shoot five shurikens so that's pretty bad and sad but whatever because as you can see here one ninja is pretty enough we're in hard mode um i mean normal mode and in hard difficulty um so the ninja naturally can spot camo so that's one thing that we're not gonna be thinking about but the ninja of course can pop lead and that's why we're gonna be thinking about a lead strategy how to pop lead we got the sniper and we got also the apprentice so we got two towers that can pop lead pretty easily and that can also spot camo uh, but i think uh, i'm gonna go just with i said before only ninjas strategy so i'm gonna here place um two ninjas here here we go Okay, another one maybe, here. And then I'm gonna place here one ninja, thinking to have it in a pretty good way, here we go. So this ninja here is gonna become a two, three ninja. So I'm gonna get the flash bomb because the flash bomb here says, sometimes throw a flash bomb that stuns multiple blooms. It's gonna be like a four, zero bomb upgrade. But the pretty cool thing is that this bomb is not only going to um, stun the balloons, but it's going to also um, pop lead. So we're going to be able with this ninja here to pop lead and we're going to be able to destroy, um, to stun the balloons, so to stall the game longer. So here we go, next round camos, we're not going to care here. Round 25, remember in normal mode, the first leads are in round 28. So we have uh, two more rounds here to farm up, to have a uh, 2.8, but I think we're gonna have enough here at the end of this round. Here we go, we're gonna get the bomb, the flash bomb, and we're gonna also get here the range upgrade. So watch this now, here come the leads. Uh, shurikens can pop, but the bomb is gonna be able to pop it and it's gonna also stun the balloons. So that's a pretty cool uh, interaction there. And that's why I really love, instead of using other towers, I love using uh, two, three ninjas. Let's get here every ninja one, one, and then I'm gonna start getting some three, two ninjas and then four, two ninjas. So in the tutorial video, I, speak about uh, destruction here now many players uh, including youtubers when they do gameplays they don't uh, use destruction they just don't uh, upgrade it and i think that's pretty a waste uh, because destruction is pretty cool and it's pretty uh, awesome to use especially when we're going to be using the ninjas that are going to shoot more shurikens in uh, once and uh, for example here, see, as I, as I get the 3-1 three, the three one ninja, I'm going to get the destruction. Because now that we're going to shoot with that ninja, two shurikens. Uh, each shuriken is going to have a chance for the balloons to distract, so to go back. And that is what is what going to do the difference. Because now here with five shurikens, as you see, the like the vast majority of blooms, they are popped and the, if they are not popped, they are blown away. So that's why I really love using destruction. And uh, I think it's a pretty powerful upgrade and it costs really few. And uh, it is even more powerful if you use uh, Blunjinsus. So if you use uh, 
two, three, zero uh, ninjas, and of course, four, two ninjas. So with the uh, Blanjinsu. More shurikens means more destruction, uh, chance to proc. So yeah, here we go, we're in round 45, we got already three Blanjinsus and we got the two or three ninja for the lead and also for the stun. So we're doing a lot of damage here. And uh, for the mob, I think the mob is not gonna have any chance. Even without using the, um, the shadows here, but I'm just gonna go slow here just to show you the power of the ninjas here, of the shurikens. It's just insane. So yeah, that was pretty cool, right? Uh, okay, now I got the fourth uh, Blanjinsu. I think I'm gonna get maybe... Yeah, maybe another one here. Okay, I'm gonna go fast forward now. Oops. And that should really be it. Uh, I'm gonna just start adding up some ninjas here in this side. Maybe I'm gonna just add some here also in this side. But yeah, the damage of the ninja is insane. Okay, so that's six there. I think I'm gonna go with some ninjas here too. So remember that with the Blanjinsu, so the 4-2 upgrade, we every ninja shoots five shuriken, shurikens each time uh, they attack. So if we have six Blanjinsu, it's gonna be 30 shurikens each time we attack. Uh, that's... If you do some math, it's gonna be some quite a lot of shurikens going on. And considering we're also attacking pretty fast, uh, it's gonna be even more uh, shurikens. So, as you see here, we're popping these mobs so fast that it's not even. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna get here another flash bomb. Um, as you see here, is in a different direction, and uh, it's gonna allow me not only to have more lead poppage, but also to have this um, ninja here placed in a different spot than this one here. So in case some blooms pass, I have this other ninja that can supply. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna get, uh, here we go. So next round is gonna be some rushes, but remember I got now the two uh, flash bomb ninjas that are gonna stun the balloons. And we got also destruction. So as you can see here, the ceramic rush can't even pass this point here because of the destruction procs and the stun proc. So that's pretty cool, right? And yeah, so normally I try to place the all of the ninjas, the Blanjinsus, around the, the flash bomb ninjas, because the flash bomb, they're gonna stun the balloons. So uh, if we place the flash bombs in a way that we can stun the balloons and we can hold the balloons here while all of the Blanjinsus are attacking them, it's gonna be pretty cool and fine. So I'm gonna start adding up some, oops some Blanjinsus here in this left side even if as you can see here they cover not a lot of ground this ninja is not covering a lot of ground but it's just placing where this flash bomb is in range so we have the stun and yeah i think that's gg uh, and if i need i can also use the shadows here for the harder rounds from answer uh, 79 on. So I got here three, six, eight, eleven Blanjinsus. Um, 
Let's see, can I? Yeah, I, I'm gonna get some more. Maybe not here, but here. Yeah, here. Cool. So we're getting the more we go forward in the rounds, the less cash we receive from the blooms that we pop because it's how the game works. Here we go, another Blonjinsu. So we got now three, eight, a ten, a twelve. Okay, let's get another one. Um, pretty, pretty solid defenses. So as you can see here, the ninjas uh, with the special building a uh, pretty awful, uh, awesome uh, strategy. So even though we're getting just strategies here using just one kind of tower. So for example, in the first one, we used mortars with the help of the dart, dart, uh, daltering guns. So here, as you can see, there are a lot of BFBs, but they're popped so fast that, uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna get here is I'm gonna get both of these Flash bombs to 2 4. So I'm gonna have the activated ability. Um, that here says uh, last for 15 seconds during the sabotage, all new blooms are crippled to half speed. So that's gonna help, especially against the BFB's rushes around uh, 81, 82, and 84. So I got 13. Um, yeah, I got 13 Blongintus. I think I'm gonna get two more. Uh, where to place them? I think I'm gonna place them here, why not? Round 79. So if you do some maths, I have 15 Blanjinsus here when I'm gonna grade this ninja here. So it means that each time the all of the ninja uh, attacks, we got 75 shurikens going on to each shot. Uh, so that's quite a lot of stuff. So here we go, uh, round 81. Um, well, we're doing pretty cool here. So I don't think I'm gonna use the cripple Moab ability. Maybe in this round here, we're gonna be using it. When the BFBs come too close here to the ninjas. Okay, maybe here now. So as you can see, all of the BFBs are moving slower and all, also of the camo uh, regrowth uh, rainbow balloons that are in the background, also they move uh, slower. And after 15 seconds, the effect ends uh, and the balloons start moving at the at their usual speed again. Okay, round 83, pretty easy. Just mobs here, so I'm not gonna use anything. And I'm gonna just make you see here this first ninja that we placed has over 15k blooms popped. Uh, and that's a lot. So, this one here 46, 44. Okay, here we go, round uh, 84. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's the hardest round here in hard. So I'm gonna use again the the ability here to lower the speed of these mobs and BFBs. And when they start moving fast again, I'm gonna use the other one. Let's see how much can they... Yeah, now they start moving fast again, I think. Or not. Mm, well, well, not. Better for me. So here we go, round 84, pretty easy. Uh, and now for round 85, 
I'm going to just use here again the cripple and I'm going to use all of the shadows ability here all together. So now we got all of the ninja, the Blonjinsus, plus we got the shadows attacking. So there's going to be a lot of poppage. As you can see, we we popped the oh my god and uh, we got the we completed the hard daily challenge. So this strategy here involving the ninjas was pretty cool and we managed to survive and to not get any embarrassing thing. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in my next video. Bye bye.